Hi guys, this is Nutrix, the Scent Guy, and today I'm talking about Cubasis 2.3. I did talk a little bit about it this week because there was a release of the new update, but at the time I did the video, I did not have the plugins. Now today I have it. For me, a, a surprise I never expected to see Waves plugin to be on iPad. So yes, you now have the option of buying. They're not free, it's okay. Three wave plugins to run inside Cubase. You have the audio track, which is kind of a Swiss knife channel strip effect. You've got a compressor, an EQ, a gate, so you can you know clean up your tracks before going further with them. Uh, you've got the Q10. It's uh, you know an EQ that you know it's. Um, I'll actually show you know what they are and how they sound. And the last one is the L1, the Ultra Maximizer. Again, that one is a pretty cool one. We expect that most for mastering, but you'll be surprised that you can actually use it at many level, you know? And today with the fact that we use a lot of loops in the music that we create, it's not surprising to go and use something like the Ultra Maximizer to adapt the loop that you have for the rest of the song, or even in the Ultra Maximizer, which is supposed to be used for you know, mastering, you know, so the you clean up the final, you, you adapt the game to what you want, and you just might want to use that same tool to dirty up your sound. I'll show you what it is, but there's there's an option to really use it in a way that they're not supposed, well, it's not a question it's supposed to, but it's it wasn't thought to be used for that, but you can actually use it in a different way, you know, like I can create distortion with a compressor, but it was not meant to be doing that, but you can do it, you know. If you go into shop, you can actually buy these other things. Now I have all of them now, thanks to our good friend at Steinberg, who did provide me with these. We will actually start with the wave plugins, okay? So we get the audio track, and now because it's in here, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna delete that track, delete that one, add a track, I'm gonna add an audio track, and I'm just gonna load a, let's go, 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 sorry, media, audio, let's just load a drum. You know, whatever it is, just uh... let's load that one, okay? So we we have that drum, okay? That drum is here. That's on tempo, okay? I'm going to go insert effect, I'm going to insert the wave, let's say audio track first. The audio track is in EQ. Okay, so in EQ you want to do whatever you want with it. And you've got the gate, you got the threshold. If you want to start with, I mean, you've got two setups, A and B, you can actually compare between two tests that you want. You can actually go presets and you have you know, let's say they have one for drum, dynamic kit. Yeah, add some distortion to that. So different ways to actually go in and, and use this one. And again, you can actually control these. Okay. So that's for the audio track. Let's go back here and select, instead of audio track, ma maximizer. When it's off, nothing. Back on. Let's say I take a preset. We have a let's go mastering. Flattener. True peak.
You hear that noise? I talked earlier about the fact that you can actually use these tools to create the sound or dirty up the sounds. Now, if I close the presets, you see you have here shaping, there's ditter, there's analog, true peak. So you can actually use these and you can quantize 8 bits. So you get the noise of an 8 bit, you know. So that's it, you can actually play with those to create. And of course, you can, you know, really bash the sound and make it really noisy if you go too loud. Now there's a little link feature here. If you move the link, actually only gonna move the two together. So you keep the ratio between the threshold and the output ceiling. Let's try now wave um, Q10. So the Q10, it's a very, you know, efficient, Can change a different type of of shapes. You can change the Q, or the Q, the gain, the frequency. You can make it peaking very narrow. Uh, make it wider. You can filter out shelving, low and high basic stuff but it, you've got 10 of it so if you go into the control you have it can really help you either fix a problem or you know get a different texture to your sound so interesting close this up I hope that this video was helping if you have Cubasis maybe it was a a way to get to hear what the Waves plugin do. At the same time, if you don't have Cubasis, well, it might have inform you more on if it's the right tool for you or not. That's it. If you like my videos, thumb up and uh, share it with your friends. And if you have other things you would like me to test, write it down in the comments and uh, I hope to see you soon. Cheers.